okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am consumer debt free currently working on my family loan and trying to save as much money as i can this video is going to be about setting up my a5 file facts for 2021 so I, I think i just posted up a video of setting up the back of my financial planner link it down below um but this planner i decided is where i'm gonna it's where i keep like everything you can say it doesn't matter the year it is so once it turns 2021 i'm gonna take this off by the way they came out with a black one. Oh, i want it so badly but i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait and be patient um so in this one i have in the back my sinking funds um trackers so I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's from keeping it from 2021. But for this one, I have my goal section. And I was going to use this as my 2021 planner, um, financial planner. But it's just too small for me. I started, like, doing my drafts in it just to see how I felt because I wanted to be sure. But it's just too small for me. Um, yeah. So we have six months, one year, three years. I'm not really feeling that section. So I do like this though. Because I already have my goals in my other planner, right? So like what's the point of having it in this planner? This is where like I'm brainstorming with you guys. Um, I see usually like I brainstorm outside of like my drafts, not on camera. <laughs> But I figured, like, why not brainstorm with you guys? So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use this section, to be honest. Goals. But just because I have my goals in my other one. So, it doesn't make sense to have it here, too. I don't know. I mean, I, can, I could still keep it in here. What am I doing? I can still keep it in here, but... I'm not going to use this section, I don't believe. Um, I'm definitely going to use yearly, though. So I wanted to set this up with you guys. Just because I don't have this one in my other one. Um, okay. So I have my little draft here because I, like, started it. Um, all right. And then yearly, I'm going to put... Let's see. Expense trackers I really wanted to use for my puppy. So, like, just to track what I spend on him, tax deductions I was using, like, to see if I buy anything for my channel. You know, I can put it here. I still don't know how that's going to work with my tax lady. I have to tell her. Because no one that I'm, like, not close with knows about my channel. <laughs> Only, like, my two best friends. My brother, his wife, my mom, my dad. And that's it. Oh, and my boyfriend. So those are like, how many people are that? My brother, his wife, um, my two best friends, my boyfriend, mom, dad. Only seven people know in my family that I have this channel. <laughs> I'm just like so shy. Um, and that's another reason why I don't show my face because I'm just so shy. I'm thinking like maybe when I hit 2K or 3K, I'll show my face because I definitely want to like evolve, grow with my channel. Um, just because I love all you guys and I love seeing like faces and I'm just so <gasps> shy. Um, okay, so I don't know where it cut off because I like hit the camera. But anyway, I'm going to set this one up. up. Okay, so typically, typically in January, they charge me the New York Sports Club annual fee. So I'm just going to put NY, what is it? NYSC. And that's usually 40 I have the money to pay that, but I don't know if they're going to charge me. Just in case. I just got my puppy's haircut in December. Which will be for next week's check-in. Um, let me see. So that will be December's. December doesn't count. January, February, March. So that means March he has another cut. Um, so I'm going to put puppy... And then I get him every three months. So that's one. This would be three. So pup, cut, pup, cut. And then again, pup, cut. Okay, so that's that. Um, Then it is my 
it is my boyfriend's birthday in February. So, um, I'm gonna put a heart just because I'm on camera. <laughs> I usually put his last name. I love his last name, but um, I'm just put heart. B day. That's cute, right? Okay. Um, now in February, there's also the Dagny Dover sale. Let's put Dagny summer sale i think it's called i'm gonna just put sale question mark i always miss their sales and i hate it like their warehouse sales and it's so much cheaper than if you buy you know on the regular so i just put that there um then we have one of my best friend's birthdays um i usually put her name what do i do what do i do i'm gonna put bff I know who it is. Um, okay, and then in May is when they get char. I get charged my Amazon, and that's sixty five. Um, also, I am going to BJ's, but you should go on BJ's in May. But I don't know, so I'm just not gonna write that. Then in June, I have my bros b day bro b day and these are like expensive usually i don't give anything to my brother but you never know you know you never know if i might feel generous um okay so i just got an espresso in december um so that would mean four months one two one two three four i'm gonna put an espresso question mark <laughs> one two three four i'm gonna put an espresso here question mark one two three oh perfect an espresso question mark okay um then i usually pay my taxes in july so i'm gonna put taxes when i say taxes question mark i mean my tax lady the person who does my taxes um okay then we have August, which is the Nordstrom sale. Nord sale. Um, we also have the Erin Condren warehouse sale. Um, and then we also have pet insurance. So pet insurance, I just paid, right? Um, this is when my thing comes in handy. I believe I just paid that. Was it last month? Um, I'm pretty sure it was last month. Home. Quick pay. Um, oh, you can't even see it. Pet plan. Yeah, it was the 23rd, so it was November. So then we have one, two, three. Oh, December, January, February. I think because it's quarterly. So three, 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 three. I'm going to put pet plant, pet insurance. I'm going to put question mark. We'll see. Um, okay. Then after that, what do I usually have? August, September is my Gerber's due. Gerber, which is 105 and 27 cents. Um, okay. So apparently in September, I have Dagny warehouse sale I don't know though um usually in September is the puppy doctor so I'm gonna put pup doctor question mark um October is my anniversary so I'm gonna put heart anniversary I just put N. And then it's my other BFS birthday. BFS. Oh, B day. Um, okay, November is my papa's birthday. Papa. B day. And I would put hearts on everyone, but then I won't remember what these hearts mean. <laughs> I love all my peoples, okay? Um, so, yeah. 
I think that's it. And I'm going to put the 23rd here. I think that's it for now. I don't think I have anything else. My mom, <gasps> my mama's birthday. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to put mama. B day. Right? I have, those are like the main ones. I have other birthdays, but not some that I'm going to spend money on. I think that's it in terms of like expenses I need to remember. I do want to write down BJ's, but I don't know how often I go to BJ's. I've never tracked it. So that's something I really want to track this upcoming year, 2021. Yeah, there's nothing else. So, for now, that's my upcoming expenses. Um, okay, so what else do I have here? Oh, I have two. Oh, just in case, you know, I run out of space, I can use the other one. Got you. Okay, so yearly overview. I don't want to do this until, like, I kind of start my br breakdown budget. This hasn't happened. This is going to be for my puppy. I'm going to put pup expense tracker. Pup expense tracker. Um, there is no budget, you know? I don't know why it's like that. It's okay. Um, so that's pup. I'm gonna put, we're gonna start off in, no. I don't want to put a month because what if I don't spend anything? So I gave him two tax deductions. For this one, I already have 200, but I shouldn't highlight it until the year comes. Yeah. Alright, so finances calendar i'm gonna do when the month starts if that makes sense i'll do this one first and then from this i base off my monthly yeah okay and then here's where i'm gonna track how much i charge to my credit cards even though like i always pay it off right away i just want to see how often i'm using and how much i'm using it um and then we have my trackers here so savings tracker debt tracker so like for example savings tracker the goal is um 10,000 to 12,000 um i'm saving for my home down payment okay so there we go um i have to i can't start this off yet because i don't know how much i'm gonna have by the end of december i know i will have my ten thousand i don't know if i have more a little bit more than ten thousand you know so i just don't want to jinx it my debt tracker i have who do i have nail nets um my debt creditor oh you know what i'm gonna put family loan family loan the creditor is a me. The due date is 12-31-2021. Minimum due is, I'm going to put 270. Right? I think it's 270. I'm pretty sure I said 270. Let me look at this. Two, yeah, 270. Okay. Interest rate is 0%. Month monthly is two seventy. Um goal payoff date is I already said that twelve thirty one twenty one account there's that's an N A. Okay. So I know for my starting balance, let me see, let me see. I have I know I'm not paying anything extra to this. This month, I already did my payment. So, starting balance is... Um, am I starting balance? Oh, okay, okay. So, no. I'm starting off with... Let's see. 3580 minus 360. So, it's 32... I'm going to starting off balance of 3,220 um and then I'll put a payment of 270 the date and then the end balance of how much I owe. 
So there we go. That's that. Um, then we have Nail Nut, right? Nail Nut, is that right? Why do I have three? Four, who knows? Okay, so we're gonna put Nail Nut. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put creditor is now net and the debt is a school loan. The due date, ugh, I don't have a due date. Minimum due is 182. I'm, I think that's minimum due, like monthly minimum. I don't remember the exact minimum, so hold on. 182.67 182.67 interest rate the average interest rate is 4.5 percent oh you know what i just had an idea of doing the groups oh i'm gonna do groups so i gotta go print these out more so that each group I can track individually on how much it goes down. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm doing that. All right. Monthly payment is 500. Um, I don't have a plan to pay this off yet. So I'm gonna leave it blank. So um, January, January. I already paid off my 400. For now, net. Let me see if my balance has updated so that way I can put the starting balance. Give me a second. The okay, so I don't know how this happened, but apparently I fudged up on my. <sighs> Let me see. Total debt, total debt. All right, so I don't know I, honestly what is going on with my starting because. It's saying something different on my null net, so I have to really double check what's going on. Um, okay, so, and then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to print out more of these to put the grouping separately. This is the whole thing in total. Um, I should put average. I'm going to put average. Average. And then I'm going to put my groupings on this side. Um... And then here I'm just going to track my orders. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me see. Savings tracker. Oh, I think I'm going to put home down payment. Goal is 2500 Saving for home. E Ooh, essential. And so date deposit balance. I'm gonna put January. So I'm gonna put January. Um, deposit is plus six hundred. Nothing here. The balance I have will be six hundred. Um, because that's what I'm starting off in 2021. Um, I have to figure out what is going on with my nail net, and so I'll film on. I'll film another video where I do my grouping. So that will be like part two of this one. I just have to, you know, print, cut, set up the stuff for this one for my groupings. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.